Hi, my name is Richard Stollier and I'm the technical lead for 12D Synergy. In this session, we'll be talking about file replication servers. In a regional or global work sharing environment, there can be a large amount of traffic running between all your offices. File replication servers help you significantly reduce the amount of traffic between those offices or sites by synchronizing and caching files in the background. This means that when people come in for work, they can be sure that the files that they need are sitting there waiting for them and they don't have to wait for large transfer times across the internet. I'd like to take this opportunity to take a quick look at the 12D Synergy landscape to give you a better picture of how the file replication servers fit into the picture. Essentially, regardless of where you are, whether you're inside the office or out, you're typically connecting to one centralized 12D Synergy server. And this is essentially the model in version 2. You can already use 12D Synergy to work share in a distributed environment without using the FRS. So if you have offices in Brisbane and Sydney and Melbourne, your users can still access data from any of those offices using 12D Synergy. And our intelligent data transfer tools help reduce the bandwidth significantly by only delivering the changes that people need. However, if there are multiple people in the same office accessing the same data, then the first time they do this, they're all going to be delivered the same change. So if you've got five people in your Brisbane office opening the same 12D model project, or rather the same version of the same 12D model project, they're all going to get a copy of the changes the first time. And these changes could be large. So there are still some um, efficiencies that 12D Synergy can give you when you use the FRS. So the 12D Synergy landscape with file replication servers is a little bit different. Everybody still connects to the centralized 12D Synergy server for all their metadata or informational needs to list which files are available, uh, which 12D model projects are available, who has made what changes to search for information, and all that sort of stuff. But this doesn't take up much bandwidth. It's actually very quick to access that sort of information. All that heavy load is really in the file transfer. So with a file replication server, you put a file replication server at each of your remote offices. And instead, when you request a file, the users get the files from there instead. And overnight, or at various scheduled intervals, the synchronization occurs to transfer files between your 12D Synergy server and all your remote file replication servers. And you can set up all sorts of rules about how and when this occurs and the different types of files. For example, only transfer ECWs overnight, but maybe transfer 12D model project changes every hour. This makes sure that your users can really quickly access the data they need and allow that transfer to happen in the background, rather than having to sit around and wait for it to be available. The FRS is really ideal for sites with popular data sets that are being used by many users at different sites. So rather than making them all wait for it to be downloaded the first time they open it, you can push it out to the local network to make it much faster. It's great for data heavy environments with more than one site. So if you've got really large ECWs and you don't want people to pull those down all the time, you can have those pre-populated onto the remote office FRS. Alternatively, it's very good for environments with sites that have significantly reduced bandwidth. So if you've got a site office that you need to have access to 12D Synergy, it's a temporary office, it may not have the best connection to the internet or your network, so the FRS can help you out by transferring the data when people are in their downtime or away from the office. So we've got an example here of um, a multi-office solution running the FRS, so the main server sits in Sydney and then you have FRS nodes at each of these. Now these little lines here actually explain the way the data is being transferred. So, And this is important to note, not every connection is the same. Some offices have faster connections, some have slower connections. So the FRS is set up to allow various types of network topologies so that people can basically route the data down the best paths. So for example, Geelong may have a not a great connection through to Sydney, they've got a better connection through to Melbourne. So you can force the files to take that transfer path so that you can take advantage of um, your network topologies. Thank you very much for your time. We hope that this has been informative and that uh, you're all excited about some of these new features. Please do contact us if you have any questions. Thank you very much.